Buddy Tails here, and uh, today I'm going to be making another uh, haul video. I haven't done one in a while, so I thought I'd just show you what I've gotten recently. I haven't been getting too much stuff just because I've been uh, like doing video chats and work and everything, but I, I at least got a few things like uh, over the weekend. But yeah, so I'll just show you what um, I got today. I did go to Savers and uh, found a few few pretty cool things. There was like a whole bunch of stuff there. I just grabbed a, a few things. I didn't grab a ton, but I'll just show you what I got. So to start things off, here's this uh, Diddy Kong. I think it's part of a Burger King toy, but yeah, I I thought it was pretty cool. I just I just got it for uh, for free. I mean, that usually they don't charge the figures. I once got a Earthworm Jim figure, and they didn't even char charge it for me, so they just gave it to me for free. I also got um, a loose copy of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I might get a PS3 version, but um, I just thought I'd pick it up because it looks pretty cool. I wish I had the case for it, but, um, yeah. I was gonna show it in one of my, um, uh, like, uh, community, in my community post, but, um, I didn't really want to show it just because Microsoft's moving with Bethesda and everything, which I'm a little worried about, to be honest. Um, I got Crash Bandicoot, the, uh, Insane Trilogy, at my, uh, local game store, Core Gaming. I'm actually playing it at the moment, so I even have it, um, like, in my PS4, as you can see, so... Yeah, um, I'm playing that at the moment. I've been I've been playing that. That's like pretty much the only game that I've been playing recently, except for a few other titles that I'll show you later. But I also got uh, Tales of Zestria, which I'll have to play sometime. I've always wanted to play this game, and uh, yeah, it does does come with a disc. I really love the artwork. It's in really nice condition, and yeah, I'll definitely can't wait to play that. Here's another game, Transformers Devastation, which I've wanted to play as well. Even comes with this little uh, Devastator advertisement right over there. So yeah, I haven't played a Transformers game in a while. I think the last one I played was um, War for Cybertron in uh, one of the games based off one of the movies, which I don't think it was that good. Here's um, a Blu-ray movie. I would go with all the others, but here's Casino Royale on Blu-ray, the only Blu-ray I picked up. There were a bunch of other Blu-rays, but I wanted this one the most, I guess, since there's a new, or at least there was going to be a new uh, Daniel Craig Bond film, or the last Bond film, but yeah, this, um, I did pick this one out, didn't cost too much. Here's Enter the Matrix on PS2, complete. I did test it out, it works. And it looks like pretty much brand new, I don't even see the scratches where the PS2 logo is. So yeah, there's there's that. That's pretty cool. I did have it on the uh, original Xbox, but I couldn't get it to work, so I thought I'd get the PS2 version. I'm actually glad I picked this one out because this is like a $10 game. <laughs> All right, here's uh, Deep Lob for the Wii. I picked out only two Wii games. There's one of them. There was another Wii game I almost picked out. I think it was Cabela, but I didn't pick it out just because. So yeah, there's Deep Lob. I might play that. I, I did get this game once for a friend, but I did play it for a bit, and yeah, I kind of enjoyed it, so I thought I'd pick it up. And I did find out that there was actually a PS4 version as well uh, of this game, so I'll probably get the PS4 version. Here's a, um underrated um, Wii game, Medal of Honor Heroes 2. I don't really play shooter games that much, but this one's actually a pretty good pretty good game. I, I saw Metal Jesus uh, review this game, so I thought I'd try it out myself. There was a couple other games that he mentioned. I know one of them was like, uh, I forget what it was, but he described it as like um, the Katamari sort of game. And here's a few DVDs. Those are from the Savers. I also got more of these Starlink figures, just two of them. I, I got a, another, like a couple other uh, Starlink figures. Um, they're just right over here. I'll do a, a video on all my Starlink figures another time. But here's a Dragon Ball Z DVD. King Boo, A New Beginning. This is actually the one with the, uh, the, the, like, that weird season finale. It was, like, when Goku is, a uh, final battle and everything, and he just, like, picks this random, random character to, uh, to fight, like, to be the next, like, Dragon Ball Master, and, yeah, like, he just leaves the, the stadium with everyone all confused and everything, so. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it was kind of a controversial episode, but, you know, I might watch it watch it later i mean i i like when i just saw the this this guy i just remembered that like one episode i i haven't i haven't watched every single episode of dragon ball but i i definitely know this was like one of the more controversial uh episodes here's a couple neon genesis dvds 
And yeah, this one actually has, I saw this like go for like $30 on eBay and I really love that artwork. <laughs> I did watch um, uh, Neon Genesis on Netflix, but I heard people say that they would like censor uh, certain parts of the, the series. I thought these like DVDs were censored. These are original versions. I don't think the DVD or Blu-rays, those weren't censored. I think it was just the when it was aired on TV. I think they'd censor a lot of the swear words in like some of the episodes. But yeah, the they both they both work. I tried them out. Um if I ever find like all the episodes, I might like watch them there. I I did stop watching Neon Genesis on Netflix just because the censorship, but I kind of wish uh, I got back into it because I I did I did like the show. I mean, I think there was a certain part where I uh felt a little uncomfortable in like one of the scenes, but you know. Here's uh and finally here's this DVD. Um it's based off the anime of the same name. I never even knew they had a movie. It was like the FMA and uh, the the Full Metal Alchemist and the Death Note movie. It is still sealed. I kept it sealed. I'll I'll, I'll leave it sealed. It, it was at the dollar store, surprisingly. But it'll it'll remain sealed forever, and I'll never never ever watch this movie just because I, uh, the IMDb says it's like 20, 21% Rotten Tomatoes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And Oblivion as well. And Diddy. Oh, and yeah, and I'll show you those uh, digital games I was talking about. So, I did, I did have this uh, one game. I already beat it, but um, I'll just show you right here, Mr. Massage. I beat the game already. There's even this like weird picture when I beat the game. But yeah, I got uh, Orc Slayer. I got the digital version of Rayman Legends, uh, Lego Worlds on digital. Uh, that was free. So yeah, and The Wolf Among Us. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and I got this uh, Sonic mask recently, so there's that. I'll, I might wear that in some of my videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.